Welcome back. We now join Tennis in Glasgow for all the sporting action. In tonight's sports news, Messi claims yet another Ballon d'Or trophy, forcing Lucian cricketers off to the Volcanoes training camp and New Zealand's Seal Series win over England. We kick off tonight's sports with football. Lionel Messi won a record six Ballon d'Or, while World Cup winner Megan Rapinoe earned the women's prize yesterday. A day after scoring a 614th career goal for Barcelona, Messi reclaimed the trophy he last won in 2015. Liverpool defender Virgil van Dijk was second in the polling, followed by Cristiano Ronaldo, who shared the record of five Ballon d'Ors with Messi until yesterday. The Messi and Ronaldo tenure grip on the prestigious individual award organized by France Football Magazine was ended last year by Luka Modric. Rapino won the Women's Ballon d'Or for leading the United States to FIFA Women's World Cup glory in July. She scored six goals in the championship, earning her the Golden Boot as the top scorer and the Golden Ball as the top player. Juventus defender Matis De Litt won the Copa Trophy for the best under-21 player and the inaugural Yashin Trophy given to the year's best men's goalkeeper went to Liverpool's Alisson. On to cricket, four St. Lucian senior cricketers left the island for Grenada to attend the Women Islands Volcanoes training camp in preparation for Cricket West Indies' annual four-day cricket tournament. The players are Dylan John, Jamal James, Junior Henry and Larry Edwards. The training will last for a number of weeks and Dylan, Junior and Jamal will be attempting to become contracted players for the franchise in the upcoming regional 4-day tournament. It will be remembered that Junior Henry was the second leading scorer in this year's senior men's tournament, hitting 191 runs from six innings. Jamal James' aggregate of 152 runs was the fifth leading scorer. With six wickets from three innings, Dylan John was the fifth leading bowler, but returned the third best average of 15.17 and the seventh best economy rate. Larry Edward took 10 wickets and had the second best economy rate with just 3.03 runs conceded per over. The camp gets underway this week. Staying in cricket news, New Zealand sealed a 1-0 series win over England as Kane Williamson and Ross Taylor centuries helped secure a draw in the second test in Hamilton. Captain Williamson made an unbeaten 104 and Taylor 105 not out as they guided New Zealand to 241 for two, a lead of 140 before rain ended play early. England were unable to take a wicket in the 41 overs possible in the day. The Tories, who lost the first test by an innings and 65 runs, have not won in New Zealand since 2008. Although England and the new coach Chris Silverwood won the T20 series that preceded the test, they end the year without a test series victory for the first time since 1999. They travel to South Africa for a four test series starting on the 26th of December. We move on now to athletics. Tokyo's National Stadium, set to be the centerpiece of next year's Olympic Games, has been officially finished and handed over to its owner and operator, the Japan Sport Council. Construction of the 60,000 capacity stadium was finished earlier this month, but Saturday, November 30th, marked the official completion date and a landmark moment for organizers eight months out from the start of the Games. It will be officially unveiled on December 21st, with the Emperor's Cup football final being the first sporting event to be held there on New Year's Day. Finally, on the lighter side of sports, Switzerland's 20-time Grand Slam champion Roger Federer will become the first living person to be celebrated on a coin in the country. The Federal Mint, Swiss Mint, will release a 20 Swiss francs silver commemorative coin in January. It plans to add a Federer Swiss franc 50 gold coin in May. What a way to go, Federer. That's sports for tonight.